Okay, I want to show you uh, what's going on with this. I guess we have a standing wave coming back through the uh, BNC cable from the MOSFET switcher itself. We don't have any MOSFET driver hooked up. We have the, the function generator basically powering the uh, gate drive. Uh, it's a very weak uh, amp signal going on, but it, it you know does work at low. Uh, power levels. So what I want to show you is once we hook this BNC cable in, we're going to be getting reflections back and it's going to drive up this uh, frequency meter on the machine itself. You can see we're hooking up to BNC right now. See it jump right up to 2157 cycles from 12. So we'll be apparently getting our, our uh, reflections back through the cable. So what we're going to probably have to do is put a buffer uh, circuit on the uh, driver also, so the gate, uh, function generator will drive the buffer, the buffer will drive the gate drive, uh, or the MOSFET driver, and then uh, the MOSFET driver, will, of course, will turn the MOSFET switcher on and off at high amperage. So that's one of the issues we have with this current design. Uh, again, we're working on that. Uh, also want to show, we're at the duty cycle down about 15% here. <coughs> And the voltage sits, yeah, let me see here, lighting, and it's around about 2.2. We're going to shut the function generator off, and you can see this is the uh, voltage actually dying off in the cell itself. So it does carry some voltage, so you're not going to get zero voltage by turning the duty cycle down low enough, because you're still going to be having this residual voltage. So I'm turning the uh, function generator on right now. You can see it's going to go back up to about 2 something. Stabilizes. Okay, I'm going to turn the duty cycle up from 15% up to about 85%. It's going up right now. Earlier we tried this and we burned out the uh, fuse we had. What we have is two 14-inch uh, cells sitting in sodium hydroxide right now and uh, distilled water. And there, two of these cells are in parallel, so this is going to each individual cell, 3.4 volts. I'm going to keep going up here. And we don't have an amp meter yet to tell you what the voltage or amperage is, but uh, eventually we will have something that's going to do 200 amps from the battery and then probably about 500 amps into the cell. So we'll have some accurate readings here in the future. Short on financing right now, otherwise we'd have all this equipment. And that's all the way up at 85%, so we're not quite a little over four and a half volts. Okay, we're gonna turn it back down again and cool stuff down and give it a chance to recharge. And I'll show you the pulser for the uh, MOSFET switcher, I mean. And this is the fuse I burned out today. We had about a point two zero wide uh, piece of aluminum strip, 15 thousandths thick, uh, as a fuse. That burned that out after putting two cells on. We've been running that for a number of days. It was fine, but today it finally burned it out. So this strip is 0.4 wide, so it's twice as wide. And we have a fan that cools the positive bus. And again, these MOSFETs are cool to the touch. And we're going to show you the, here's the battery here. Show you the load itself. It's sitting in sodium hydroxide right now. As you see, if you can turn the iris up here and see some bubbles. There we go. So we can wire these cells here, series, parallel, parallel series, whatever here. These are 12 gauge wires, so should handle 20 amps each. There you have it.